What's up guys, it's Punchy, and today it's time to debunk a Punchy Paradox involving one of your favorite Deep Woken attunements. Most, if not all of Deep Woken features are heavily debated in the PvP community. For example, is this Oath or Element viable, and if so, why is that true? But today, we're going to be speaking on Gale Breath, which has been in discussion for quite a while. For some, Gale Breath might be hard to classify if you aren't keeping up to date daily with game balance. On the other hand, things like Iron Sin are in my opinion very unbalanced, like you have base Iron Sing that really isn't doing that much damage besides pulls, placing rods, and maybe rocket lance because it's super fast, but then you have Scrap Singer which drains armor in less than one combo. That is not balanced, so it's less obvious to some, and let's see what players have to say about Gale Breath and why it might not be that insane for everybody. First off, I will say that I am biased, I think Gale Breath is strong and very very solid in today's combat, I believe that it's up there and extremely powerful if you understand the ins and outs of your moveset. That being said, I'll go into this with an open mind and look at downsides and upsides to understand why a majority of the community thinks strangely of Gale Breath. You know, it might not be negative, it might not be positive, but they just don't know. Starting off, many players think that some Gale Breath mantras are kinda bad, and I see why. So Gale Breath is very inconsistent, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. As a whole attunement, Gale Breath might not be terrible, but some mantras are not that great. For instance, Rising Wind bugs out when players parry extremely early or extremely late. This cancels the entire mantra even after it's been hit, and for those that use this, it can be very frustrating to use. On the other hand, some Gale Breath mantras are inconsistent, but in a good way. So Gale Punch hitbox basically changes every single time you use it, leading into unparryable situations that do a ton of damage and knock your target into walls and back away from you. I think it's an inconsistent option that's powerful, but for those who like calculated combat, it might not be the play. Another argument that players will bring up is how the instant guard break for Gale was nerfed heavily, but I don't think that ruins the entire attunement. Sure, Champion's Whirl Throw, the range is weak, and it's finally lost its hyper armor, but you gotta be using these options post parry to get the most use out of this mantra. Moving on, a giant problem for Gale Breath users, I will admit, is that you use the same mantras on every single build. Like there's filler, unusable mantras that nobody is running, and that cannot be said about other attunements. For example, with Thunder Call and Flame Charm both, there isn't really a combat mantra that I think is unusable compared to Gale Breath. There's a lot of talents, a lot of mantras from Gale that people do not pick. I think it's fair to say that there's a lack of variety with Gale Breath moves because you want to be running the high damage options instead of the more creative ones, and it's hard to say what's good and bad until you've actually played with all of these moves. Experienced players end up using the same Gale options every single time, and this doesn't always happen with other attunements. Imagine this, as a new player, you won't be using Gale Punch correctly because you don't understand its hitbox, in fact, it actually looks really bad if you're new. Another option, Astral Wind, you probably won't be hitting if you're new because you don't know how to perfect cast or use it, and Champion's Whirl Throw, this will never hit if you're new since it has no range. But that's if you don't know how Gale works, and that's a fair statement to say if you haven't fought with and against the attunement for a while. A huge issue that Gale Breath faces at a fundamental level is that it doesn't have many tools for AoE. In ganks, new and experienced players alike want to be using tools like Giant Flame Palm, you know, Storm Blades, or Extremely Large Flame Assault because that hits players and does a ton of AoE damage. I think it's fair to say that Gale Breath does not have the tools to stand up to other attunements and hit multiple players in ganks, but it definitely has other options that are gank viable. Gale Breath is absolutely unrivaled when it comes to running away from fights, so a standard mantra that every single Gale build is using is Wind Passage, and you're going to be going insanely far with this teleport, and it also negates fall damage, which is insane. I will say that Gale Breath suffers from the lack of AoE, but it also has running tools to make up for that. I'll finalize this debate, or you know, back and forth, with a single point that I think is kind of valid. Players who do not enjoy Gale Breath say that it does not have any defensive talents because it's very aggressive as an element. Instead of having talents that reduce damage or activate on being guard broken, it has other options. Options. This isn't necessarily a bad thing, it's just a completely different play style. So, with Gale Breath, you're able to negate mantras using Suffocate and applying pressure, and even with this new path, this enables the winded effect that makes your target swing slower. Even by attacking blocks, you gain Gale dashes which are defensive, but you obtain that defense by playing offensively. A lot of players that may think that Gale Breath is weak could try these talents and mantras for themselves to understand how each attunement works, and I encourage experimentation. So please 
please give it a shot. Coming into this video, I had the opinion that Gale Breath was very, very strong and how could it even be bad? But by asking around and testing for myself, I see where Gale Breath can fall short for some players. It has upsides and downsides, but I think Gale Breath requires a lot of experience to understand the synergy and playstyle, which some players might not enjoy. Gale Breath is a very aggressive attunement that has the tools to get in and out of 1v1 situations while lacking AoE capability. I've been trying my best with Gale Breath, and I won't lie, I'm guilty of sweating. But anyway, I can't talk about all of Gale's upsides and downsides because it really is in depth, but I hope you came out of this video with an open mind about this attunement and hopefully try it for yourself. It's definitely not bad, but I can see why players might skip this option entirely. That's all, and make sure to like and subscribe, and let's reach 70k. Have a good one. It's punching time.